What's going on guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to get realistic handheld movement within Blender. Okay, so first things first, what you're going to need to do is select your camera. If you do not have a camera in your scene yet, what you need to do is Shift A and select the camera here. To see what the camera sees in real time, what you need to do is press 0 on your number pads and you can see what the camera sees. I've already got a camera selected, so I'm going to delete that. Okay, so essentially what we're going to do is we're going to have an animation which pushes towards the subject and it's going to have animated um, handheld natural movement right so first things first we're going to need to um, keyframe the push movement towards the subject so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab my camera i'm going to select it then i'm going to press g to grab it and y to move it on the y-axis which means no matter how much i move my mouse left and right or forward and back it only moves on the y-axis right so I'm going to move it a little bit back to one animation to start from about here. Then I'm going to press I, right? And I'm going to click lock rot, which stands for location and rotation. And it's going to insert a keyframe for the location and rotation of the camera. So once I've done that, it's already set a keyframe for that position. I'm going to move the timeline at the bottom here towards the end of my animation. So at the end of the timeline, I'm going to select my camera again. I'm going to press G to grab it. Oop. Press G to grab it, press Y so it only moves on a Y axis. I'm going to move it forward to about, I would say, here. And the left mouse clip. Now I'm going to press I again and hit lock and rot, location and rotation, to set a keyframe for my location and rotation. Now, if I go back to the beginning of the timeline and I press spacebar to play the animation, you can see it pushes into the subject, great, which is what we want. Cool, but right now it's actually, it's using a Bezier curve to push in and out. And when you're walking, you don't necessarily ease in and out of a walk. So what we're gonna now do to make this constant is at the bottom, at the bottom here, we're gonna right click and we're gonna do a horizontal split. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna create a new sort of tab window for us. So once we let that go, we're gonna go down here to this icon here and we're going to change it to graph editor and this essentially is going to show us the graph editor of our animations and as you can see here it's a slight bezier curve and we don't want that so what we're going to do is we're going to get we're going to hit a to select all then we're going to press v and select vector this is just going to straighten out the curve so it's more linear so it doesn't ease in and out it's just a straight line consistent sweet we want that perfect so everything's looking good so far then we're going to go down here and we're going to click the object transform, can expand this and we're going to go to X rotation. We're going to double click this and we're going to use the middle mouse button to scroll out so we can see where it is. And it's up here. Great. So we're just going to get navigate towards here. Perfect. So essentially what we're going to do now is press N. This opens a panel on the right hand side and we're going to navigate to modifiers. Here we're going to add a modifier. We're going to add a noise modifier. And as you can see, if I press spacebar, you can see it's starting to move crazy. I've got motion blown, so it looks even more insane. But you're slowly going to start to see what we're doing here. I'm going to go here and I'm going to expand this a bit to the right so you can see the parameters. It says scale and strength. These are the two we're going to be adjusting the most, right? So I'm going to adjust the scale a little bit. And as you can see, it's it's dialed down the effect a little bit, but it's a bit, it's a bit too strong. So I'm going to mess with the strength to my liking. And I think that looks, that looks not bad. Again, you can dial it in, you can add more, you can decrease it, whatever looks best for you. For me, I'm gonna go with this, it's not too much. Okay, so once you've done that, you're gonna need to do the exact same, but with the Z rotation, because X is left and right, and Z will be up and down. So we're gonna double click the Z rotation I'm going to scroll my middle mouse button out so I can see where it is. It's down here. Great. I'm going to zoom into it. And again, go to the right hand side here where it says modifiers. Click on the modifier. Click noise. As you can see, it's too strong. So we're going to adjust the scale and strength parameter and see if we can get something we like. And for me, so far for... <laughs> A couple of seconds in, I think this looks incredible. It looks way better. 
um, and it's starting to look a little more realistic. In order to get the best results, I would say spend a little bit of time playing around with the parameters, getting something you're happy with, and eventually you'll land with naturalistic handheld movement. All right, guys, if you like this video, share, subscribe, comment, like. If you found it useful, leave me know in the comments below. If you end up using it and putting it on Instagram, then tag me and I'd love to see. Anyway, guys, peace.